Hi guys, welcome to OB Talks. My name is Federico and I'm a scientific advisor for IBUSA. In this brief weekly podcast, we're going to look into interesting and applied research paper in the field of enology. So wherever you are at work or at home, just sit down, relax, have a glass of wine and follow me. Hi everybody. Welcome to this new episode of IB Talks. This week I'm analyzing how high exchange treatment influences the quality of your sparkling wine. The article published in the journal Scienza Tecnologica Vitivinicola by Bruno Cisilotto is titled The effect of cation exchange resin treatment of grape mast on the chemical and sensory characteristic of base wines for sparkling wine. The acidity of grape mast and wines are currently controlled for several reasons, mainly to guarantee gustatory balance and increased stability. Low pH, in fact, is considered to increase freshness, vivacity, and brightness of the wine by interfering with redox reaction and also increase the physical stability, improving clarification. Many winemaking techniques have been developed, such as separation of the mass during the pressing, addition of organic acid, the control of malolactic fermentation, the ion exchange resin, and I would like to add microbial acidification and sequential harvest. Cation exchange treatment have been improved since 2012 and they use a three-dimensional porous matrix to support this exchanging group. What's happening is that upon activation, this matrix is charged with um, hydrogen ions. This ion react and exchange with the potassium or calcium in the wine. This increases the concentration of H plus in the wine, decreasing the pH, and release the tartaric acid, increasing the TA. Raising treated wines have been perceived as less acidic than those treated with tartaric acid addition, but are generally considered less colored and flavored than the non-treated wines. The scientific information about this treatment is scarce, especially for grape mass for sparkling wine production. Lower ester production have been seen during fermentation. However, in higher protection of the aromas during aging have been detected. Therefore, the aim of this study is to evaluate the effects of cation raising treatment in order to help winemakers to decide preferative treatments to obtain a desired product. In the experiment, they use Chardonnay juice and pass it through a cation exchange resin from AEB. The starting pH of the control was 3.15, while the three resulting treatments were 3.08 pH, 3.02 pH, and 2.97. PH. All the details of the fermentation addition are in the text. The final wines were analyzed for their physiochemical characteristic, for their volatile compounds with GCMS, and for uh, descriptive sensory analysis uh, with a panel of 14 experienced enologists. As expected, this exchange resulted in a reduction of pH and an increase in total acidity because of the release of tartaric acid from potassium and calcium tartrate. No other differences have been reported, and especially, wines did not differ in their polyphenol content. A reduction of yellow color and intensity was detected, and it was directly related to pH reduction. Treated wine showed lower color at the beginning but also exhibit a reduced tendency to browning during aging. 
The phenomenon can be explained with a slower oxidation of phenol to quinones because of the low pH or ion and copper depletion. Only three compounds belonging to the class of acetate ester exhibit a significant reduction dependent on the intensity of the treatment. The cause could be the removal of some necessary cations for the yeast enzyme or a possible impact of pH. The sensory analysis confirmed the variation in color intensity and in the perception of acidity, whereas the decrease of the acetate ester compounds probably altered the perception of fruity, flowery aromas in the olfactory analysis. In the end, the author concludes that the results of raising treated wines are in accordance with the treatment proposal. In general, moderate treatments led only to minor changes in the concentration of volatile compounds while maintaining the advantage of increasing the acidity and color stability of the wine due to the pH reduction. This was our weekly article. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more of these videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or our newsletter in the website. If you'd like more information of IB equipment and products to control pH and protect color, you can contact your sales representative. Stay safe, stay connected. My name is Federico and this is Abitok.